In the Gospel reading today, our Lord tells us that whoever finds his life will lose it. Whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. We live in a society where people seem to think that somehow they have to find themselves, as they like to say, figure out who they are. It's a reasonable thing to do. The problem is that we keep trying to find ourselves in all kinds of external ways. Just look around at what's going on today. We don't know the difference somehow between males and females. We think if we put hundreds of tattoos all over our bodies that somehow or another we can figure out who we are. We think that if we just do this or that or the other thing that that's what's going to, we'll figure it all out. The Lord makes clear what needs to happen. And it's exactly the opposite, as usual, of what it is that the world presents. We have to lose our life in order to find it because we are only going to find who we truly are by going inside, not by looking at the external things, but only by going inside. So we are made in the image and likeness of God. If we want to know, therefore, who we are to be, we have to turn to God in whose image and likeness we were created. We have to know him before we can know ourselves. If we take it a step further, the more perfectly we know God, the more perfectly we can know our own self. But the more perfectly we know God, the less concerned we are about ourselves. In other words, the more we lose ourselves, the more we actually find out who we are. Exactly the opposite of what the world is telling us today. What did God make you for? He made you for love and he made you for life. We live in a society that doesn't know either one. They talk about life when they kill every baby that they can get their hands on. They talk about life, but they destroy everyone that, they, that, they, that comes near to them. They talk about love, but that has absolutely nothing to do with love. It's pure selfishness. And once again, they don't know. And consequently, what we have in, a, in our world today is a whole bunch of people who are despairing. The depression rate is through the roof. The anxiety is through the roof. The suicide rate is through the roof. Because people are finding themselves. Right. So ask yourself, okay, you've got God and you've got Satan. One is going to learn to lead to peace and one is going to lead to joy and one is going to lead to fulfillment and one is going to lead to, to happiness. The other wants you despairing. The other wants you dead. The other wants you thinking that you're a piece of trash. So what's our society doing? It's leading the wrong direction. It's leading people into themselves instead of into God. And the more that we focus on ourself, the more depressed we're going to get. The more we're going to want to kill ourselves. The more we're going to want to change something because we can't stand who we are because there is no hope in yourself. Zero. Our hope is in the Lord, not in ourselves. So look at the first reading and look at what God made his chosen people go through. They wind up in Egypt, they become slaves. Why? So that they could die to themselves and they could figure out who they really were. 
Same thing, remember, out in the desert. They were starving. Why didn't God just feed them? Why did he let them get to that point? Moses said, so that you can learn that not by bread alone does man exist, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Once again, you see where the point is. Get the focus off of the belly and put it onto God. Get the focus off the self and put it onto God. What's our world all about? Self, self, self. And where is it leading us? Into death and destruction. There's no fulfillment in the self. The fulfillment of our own self is going to be found in Christ, not in ourselves. And so when our Lord tells us that if we lose our lives, then we will find it. He's not simply talking about if you die, you're going to find your life. Obviously, for those who die in the state of grace, yes, they're going to find eternal life. He's talking about in this world. We need to lose our self, our own self-identity, our own self-importance, our own self-worth in the wrong sense of it all so that we can find our real self-identity, which is in Christ, so that we can find our real worth, which is the dignity God gave us as being made in his image and likeness, and now being remade through baptism to become the children of God. That's who we are. People are trying to find themselves because they don't know the Lord. Only in prayer is this going to happen. This isn't, this isn't an intellectual concept. It's not something we can just think about and go, oh yeah, I made the image and likeness of God. Now I know who I am. It doesn't work that way. Yeah, we need to know the truth. We need to get it into the heart. It needs to be the love of God. You are made to love and to be loved. God loves you. But if we don't know God and we don't have a spiritual life, we can't receive the love of God. And if we can't receive the love, we can't love. Remember, love is the opposite of selfishness. And our world is all about selfishness. So that's where we're at. What Jesus spoke 2,000 years ago has never been more true than it is today, that anyone who finds his life will lose it, and anyone who loses his life for the sake of Jesus Christ will find it.